Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Grisantium here, where Austria-Hungary has unfortunately found itself on the wrong end of a war, where I'm really hoping Serbia, happy little Serbia, will make some demands, because Serbia is our, our fun little boy. Uh, he's in our sphere, and we're going to make sure he, he survives. At the expense of Austria, hopefully. No, I don't want to give you peace. I want Serbia to make demands first. So it's been suggested that we do something about this. This is new for me. Clerks provide research points. I didn't know that. So we're going to try to get our national clerk population up to around 4%. So let's go to our highest population states and encourage clerks. Encourage clerks. Encourage clerks. Encourage clerks and encourage their clerks. There you go. Good times. Yeah, you can see there's they're all of them less than 1%, so we got a long way to go on clerks. And clerks are, yeah, they're middle class, so we might actually want to lower the taxes on middle class. Let's get them around uh, maybe 50%. Let's try 50, and let's try 50 on the poor as well. Oh god, that's a lot of money. Okay, we'll go 40% on the poor. I mean, we're still making bank. Maybe we can lower the middle class down and just tax the poor a little bit. There you go. 40% and 25%. That'll work. As long as we're still making money, I don't care. But yeah, that'll encourage more people to be clerks because we're taxing them less now. They were taxing them 100%, but now we're not. How's Persia doing with his rebels? Pretty good, he's almost got him. And I'm really sad that all the nationalists in Russia are gone. They just vanish. There's there's still reactionaries, but even most of the reactionaries are gone. That's it's so disappointing. There were nationalists all over the place. Ukrainian, Polish, Latvian, Estonian, Lithuanian, Georgian, Finnish. There were nationalists everywhere, and as soon as Azerbaijan got their independence, all the other nationalists vanished. They're just gone they didn't get attacked, Russia had no army. They just vanished. It doesn't make any sense to me, but that's what happened. Okay, now we could expel Britain from Siam. Do I want to do that? I think I'll save up for a ban? No, just expel him. Alright, Portugal, who's friendly? No, kick him out. We gotta do a lot of work on Portugal, because he's cordial, 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 cordial. We gotta kick a lot of people out of Portugal. Very popular guy, Portugal. Who knew? No, I don't want peace. There you go. Yeah, Serbia wants Bosnia. Now, I want Serbia to add more demands. So please, Serbia, add more demands. I will stop sieging this. I will get out of your way. Okay. I will go home, actually. There's no point in me staying in this war uh, at the front lines. I will go home. Do I really only have three armies up there? No, I have four. Where's the fourth one? Donde estas fourth one? Oh, there he is. He's in Belgrade. Um, that's probably fine. You can just stay in Belgrade. No, get out of his land. Go to Antalya. There you go. Group up. On the boat. Come over here. Come on, Serbia. Make more demands. I believe in you. I probably shouldn't have called Germany into this war. Oh, I didn't. That's right. Italy called Germany into the war. Eh, whatever. God, we're at 96% already. Serbia, make more demands, please. I just don't want Germany to add demands, because if Germany adds demands, he'll just peace out instantly for whatever they are. Come on. Go, little Serbia, go. Go. Japan won their war to get Abu Dhabi in his sphere. Okay. 
episode. He got some oil. That's okay. We got Azerbaijan, which has oil. Serbia, make more demands. Please. I beg of you. What other games are we playing today? I don't know. What the fuck? <laughs> he landed troops in Britain. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Lovely. Did not expect that at all. And yet there it is. And now Japan is dicking around with Persia. Japan... That is not allowed. That is not okay. Oh, he's allied to France. Good for him. Hi, Dutto. Everything's good. How are you? Oh, my God. Yep, Italy's going to fall to communists. <laughs> Poor Italy. Serbia, make demands. Does Bavaria still have an army? Bavaria is... No, this is Krakow's army. No, this is Bavaria's army. What? What the fuck? Yeah, Bavaria has an army. Well, your guess is as good as... I thought that was Krakow's army. Apparently, it's Bavaria's army. What are they doing over there? There's no Bavaria. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm scared now, because that doesn't make any sense. Looks like Serbia is not going to get any more lands. Unfortunately. Yeah. Oh! First, Farmer's Bank. Let's see. Farmers gain militancy. Farmers gain consciousness. Or nationalize the bank. Gain eight militancy. Oh, just let them keep the bank. I don't care. Server, are you going to make any more demands? Please? The problem is he probably doesn't have enough jingoism. Whoa, 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 whoa. Britain has gone communist. Are you kidding me? That means they lose all their puppets. Everything. They lost their alliance, their puppets, all their relations are set to zero. Wow. That means Canada is independent, right? No, he never released Canada. But Colombia is independent. Um, South Africa? No? Okay. I thought that would make him release all this stuff. But all the stuff in India is now free. They're still allies. But it's all free. That means New Zealand is free. Yeah, hello. How about we sphere New Zealand? Very interesting. So all this stuff over here no longer has a sphere. There's a lot of unsphered nations now. Look at the USA. They're sphering like this little path in, up here for some reason. I don't know. Whatever. Interesting. Unfortunately, when he collapsed, this land did not flip back to Egypt. I wish it would. Well, there you go. Goodbye, sphere. Serbia, can you please make another demand? Look at that. Our, our total demand is only like nothing. No. Serbia's not going to make any demands. Alright. We'll just peace out this way then. So Serbia gets Bosnia, which is fine. Looks nice. Uh, he still has more cores. Up here, north. It's called North Serbia? No, it's Slavonia. So he has a core on Slavonia, and he has a core on North Macedonia. But uh, we'll see if he can get any of those later on. All right, we'll peace out for that. Give the Serbs jingos. Well, it's not for me to do. It looks like Italy's trying to take care of his communists. I can't believe Britain fell to communists. Well, I can believe it, but man, that's so weird. I wonder if India is going to go eat all these guys now. It's 
possible. So Indian pan-nationalists have sieged up Udiper. <laughs> Excuse me. But uh, it won't flip. Yeah, the Workers' Commonwealth. You like that? Kind of amusing. And wow, we can we can keep lowering taxes. We'll put it to thirty percent. All right. Do we have anything else we need to build? You're building. You're building. Oh my God! There's so many things to build. Okay, Japan is dicking around in Persia. Austria is still trying to dick around there. That's fine. Siam. Egypt. Alright. I think Azerbaijan we can pop down to just one pip. Nobody's bothering Azerbaijan. Ottomans have allied Britain. Japan broke their alliance with France. Interesting. Has anyone got you at friendly? Yeah. Austria has you at friendly. Huh. Okay. I wish I had some CBs. I wish, as Byzantium, we would get some random CBs on the Ottomans, but we don't. We haven't had a single, like, place in the sun. Uh, oh, these aren't even place in the sun anymore. He's completed, he's converted them to states. We haven't had a single CB on the Ottomans since we formed Byzantium. It's kind of silly. My puppet has gone bankrupt. Okay. I don't think I really care that my puppet is bankrupt. Surely it doesn't matter. India still hasn't finished any soldiers. Take the Suez? It's too much infamy. Everything is too much infamy. <laughs> Alright, we can build some battleships. Let's do that. Let's build... I think I'm going to start taxing people a little more. Let's go up to 50%. I know that sounds like a lot, but it's not. And let's build some battleships. Build 21 battleships. Maybe some cruisers. There you go. Get a fleet going. Italy's trying really hard to get Spain in his sphere. Looks like he is going to remain a great power. Austria is also going to remain a great power. So who's bumped up then? Is it Netherlands? No. Someone had to bump up above Russia. Who is it? It is... China. Oh god, China's above Russia. Oh no. Oh no. He's still 100 points out of 8th though. Reload the game so the AI can reset. What do you mean reset? Oh, you mean the um, Bavarian troops? Mm. I guess I don't really care about them. They're not really harming anything, are they? Nah. King High has collapsed. I mean, he was removed from Japan's sphere. That's fine, I guess. He's gone communist. He's gone mad. Hmm? Danger uprising? What are you talking about? Oh, in India? Yeah. Six whole troops. I don't know why he hasn't finished any of these units yet. Can I give him some subsidies? Nope. Can't give him subsidies while he's at peace. Hmm. China declared war on King Hai. Uh-oh. So China's going to go a next King Hai. Is that one state? No, it's three states. Oh, wow. China's going to get really big now. Okay. Infiltration tech up. Good, good. Uh, 
bolt rifles, more attack. Yeah. It's because admin efficiency. What is because admin efficiency? Please be specific. Uh, when you're making comments, you got to realize you're about two minutes behind me. The video is lagged. So what you see is behind me. So please don't use pronouns like that, him, they, it. I won't know what you're talking about. Please be specific. Naval score is, is nuts. No, I don't care. We built too many cruisers probably. But you gotta understand, we have ports that are building right now. Well, they're trying to build. We have ports that are in the progress of building, process of building. So if they would just kindly finish building, I'd be a happy boy. Get our alliance back with Austria. How much infamy? 20.5. India, where's your units, dudes? India, where's your army? Every single state is building units, but they're not actually finishing them. Anyone know why India is not finishing any units? France has released Madagascar. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Good job, France. He's probably just going to go sphere him again. I don't care. Do they have anything useful? Like, would I really want to sphere this guy? He has, like, nothing. Nah, he's useless. He can't pay for the resources, but I can't send him money. If I could send him money, I would love to, but I can't. How much states does Switzerland have? Two. If you mean how many, he has two. West Switzerland and East Switzerland. They're great names. Check my factories real quick. Anything needs improving? That one that one. My goodness. I wish I had known about clerks earlier. But I didn't. I didn't realize they affect your uh, research rate. That's pretty amazing. What are these? Oh, anarcho-liberals. Damn. I was hoping they might want to flip some land to uh, Montenegro, since this is Montenegrin cores, but nope. France allied Britain, that's fine. Clerks are important for factories. I knew that, but uh, the factories were doing just fine without clerks anyway, so I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I mean, all of our factories are fantastic, you know? Oh yeah, how's the Netherlands doing? Are you guys sphered yet? Who's sphering the Netherlands? Nobody. Oh, I can sphere the Netherlands. Alright, I'll do it. I'll do it. Portugal, let's go ahead and kick... Kick Germany down a bit. Egypt. Looks like Egypt is under control. Azerbaijan. Okay. Yeah, if we can get Portugal, that'd be fantastic because 
all this stuff over here. He has oil and rubber and it's nice. Gwalior collapsed. Stupid Indian pan-nationalists aren't doing anything. There are Indian pan-nationalists sieging India. What the fuck is the point of this? Why are Indian pan-nationalists sieging the country of India? It doesn't make any sense. All right, I'm gonna take you. We're gonna go to India, because this is crazy. All right, let's go to India. Come on, dude, build an army. He is building soldiers in every province, but none of them have finished. And yeah, China did not waste any time annexing King Hai. Wow, so he just got he just got a huge bonus to his population and uh, resources and everything. Wow. Nice job, China. Talking about nice job, China. How about we get relations up and get an alliance with you? He's going to be a great power soon. He still has Tech 3 military. Alright, let's kick Britain down to neutral in Siam. You clowns, please kill them. And then unsiege that. Then come back. India, why won't you build units? We failed to go to the South Pole. Damn it, we'll try again. Lazy git. How much hand-holding do you need? Are you surprised I haven't taken the Ottoman Empire? I can't. We don't have room for infamy. It's, it's 11 infamy for each state. One of the weird things is India is uncivilized. Not even uncivilized, he is primitive. And as a primitive nation, he can't build anything like this. But he starts out with level five naval bases and level four railroads because Britain built them for him. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at these giant naval bases he has here. Crisis in Leinster. Hey, look at that. Ireland wants independence. Of course you do. Well, let's see what happens. He's asking me. I think I'll stay out of this. Well, no. Who's your allies, Britain? Britain. Allies are... Netherlands, Ottomans, and France. Well, that would be an opportunity for us to take one state from the Ottomans. Okay. Yeah, I'll join. I'm in. Put me in, coach. So let's see who's going to join this shit. Yeah, fuck, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Ah, New Zealand. New Zealand, please. Yeah, this will put Ireland this will put Ireland completely independent. Meteor strikes Tunguska. So France will join his side. That's fine. Mm. 
and we're helping India out. Because we're just nice like that. You have to protect your special little idiot friend from China. Uh, who, who am I, who's my idiot friend that I need to protect from China? Please inform me who that is. Will Ireland be communist? I don't think so. When, when we forced Britain to release India, they got my government. They got absolute monarchy and the nationalist congress, whatever. Whatever party it is. I think Ireland will become absolute monarchy just like we are. It's Guangxi. What about Guangxi? Oh, no, no, no. Guangxi's my ally. Why haven't I sphered him yet? Oh, because we can't sphere him. Guangxi's my ally, so China won't attack him. There's no way China's going to attack Guangxi. He might attack me. He's almost a great power. Anyway, yeah, let's see what happens. Go on, France. Join that team. Go on. Go on, then. No? Pussy. There goes France. Here comes Italy. Germany should join my side. There we go. And there's peace. Ireland acquires all all states with cores. Yep. Hooray! Ireland! Hello! Ireland wants an alliance. Sure. He starts out in my sphere. Yeah, absolute monarchy with the conservative party. Alright. Excellent. And he actually starts out rank 13th in the world because he has a fuckload of industry. Cool. Poor Britain. India, will you please build an army? And yeah, Britain has no allies down here now. So it'd be really easy for India to just eat them all if he would just build an army. Hey, we can now build tank factories. Great. Let's see. Greek nationalists. What? Greek nationalists. Are you kidding me? You are not kidding me, but you should be kidding, because that is too amusing. Tank factory, yes. Tank factory, yes. Tank factory, yes. I said tank factory, yes. Great. Glad we see eye to eye on the whole tank factory thing. Tank factories go. Tank factories go. We can't actually put tanks into the army yet because we don't have uh, the technology for it, but we can build tanks. We simply... Oh, no, we can recruit them. <gasps> we can recruit tanks. Recruit tanks everywhere. 26 tanks. Yay, tanks. Ha <laughs> ha, tanks. Love it. All right, bolt-action rifles. Now, what the fuck did I want now? Oh, jeez, I forget what I wanted. Did I want dreadnoughts yet? Or did I want something else? Holy shit, I don't remember what I wanted. Uh, oh, this one. Influence. Yes. So that we can keep our sphere. Damn. I don't think India is going to westernize before the end of the game. But I wish they would. That'd be great. <laughs> yes, we went crazy for tanks. I love tanks. Tanks are awesome. Ooh, rebels. Italian communists and Algerian reactionaries. Holy crap. Ugh. These naval bases take so long to build. I have the tech for the next level, but I don't have the... Uh, 
Well, they're not finished yet. They gotta fucking finish first, you know? You feel me? Like this motherfucker. Hurry up. France broke their alliance with Britain. They're like, you made me lose prestige. You're, you're not cool anymore. Yeah, France has 150 prestige. Oh my goodness. That is just so sad. Germany's got 700. Russia's got 130. Austria's got 180. None of these guys have any prestige. Italy's got some prestige. Wow. Damn. How are we doing over here? Hmm, Germany's really fighting for us. On the, even, even Japan is fighting for us on the Netherlands. Wow. That is surprising. Alright, Portugal. Decrease opinion of anyone who's cordial. France. Hmm. Italy's trying to get New Zealand in their sphere. Lol. Oh wow, we have number one military score now. Cool. You want to see the Americas? Nothing's really changed. Colombia is completely independent, but they're in USA's sphere. They went communist. Cool. Canada is not independent. USA owns the northern part of Mexico. Nicaragua got free from the USDA. Panama got free from Colombia. Colombia took Zulia from Venezuela. Peru took most of Ecuador. Ecuador's got... Uh, Ooh, Grand Colombian Nationalist. Yeah, let's see Grand Colombia form. That'd be great. Uh, Peru and Argentina sandwiched Bolivia. Chile has not retaken his cores. I don't know why. And uh, Brazil's got uh, Brazilian Communists. So Brazil's going to flip to Communists pretty soon. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time for more adventures in the lands of Grisantium. Hello, Ireland. Number 13 in the world. He's got industry out the ass. Lovely. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.